Chemical pregnancy. A chemical pregnancy is when you have a blood test done to confirm pregnancy and it is positive. Unfortunately, repeat tests do not continue to rise or stay the same, but ultimately we never see the pregnancy on ultrasound. It's disappointing to have a chemical pregnancy, but at the Fertility Partnership, we want you to know that there is good news there in that sperm and egg met and they formed an embryo and that embryo did in fact connect and implant into the wall of your uterus. And for reasons that could vary, it did not develop into a successful pregnancy. Now, if unfortunately you've been given the diagnosis of a chemical pregnancy, there are reasons to be happy. You've made an embryo that was able to implant. And I think that you can learn a lot and help, get help, moving forward. The first thing that I would suggest, and what we do here at the Fertility Partnership, is send off a panel, a battery of blood tests that could help us understand why this embryo did not successfully continue to grow. Now, if the blood tests come back with useful information, often there's a thrombophilia, that's a medical jargon word for an, a um, uh, tendency to make blood clots. It's very common, more common than you think. Um, there are treatments, there's baby aspirin and heparin and other uh, things that we can do to help give you a successful pregnancy. These conditions often cause recurrent miscarriages later in a pregnancy. So it's important to understand why or try to understand why a chemical pregnancy occurred.